Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and as a part of that we are covering the event process on value request and as a part of that we have written the field name as a part of process on value request event and yes we gave the module and module name and we checked in that debugging mode yes the breakpoint stopped into this particular module now we will write the logic yes how we can go for or how we can go for the f4 help of order numbers you all know your order numbers are in order header table if i will go for sc11 transaction code if I will go to our order header table, whatever the order numbers are there, A, they are into this particular table. So what we will do, we will simply fetch the order numbers from this particular table. Then we will assign to the screen field. So what I will do, I will simply write a select query first. You all know whenever you will fetch, you will bring that data into the internal table. And yes, so firstly, we will create the structure. Types. Begin off. Suppose my name of the structure is LTY underscore ONO. Now from this particular table order header table, we only require order number. So I will create a structure type of only one column. So I will write O and O type. I will pass the data element of the order number. This is the data element for the order number. I will end this particular structure. And I will declare internal table now. Data. LT underscore O N O. Type table of LTY underscore O N O. You all know whenever we have structure type, we need to use the keyword type table of. Now we will write the select query to fetch the order numbers. Select O and O. We want to fetch from which particular table? Order header table. And I will write into table. What is the name of internal table? LT underscore O and O. I will not go for any where condition because we want all the order numbers because in the F4 help, you want all the order numbers. So we will not go for any where condition. Now, now in this internal table, you have all the order numbers and what is your screen field in screen painter? What is your field name? LV underscore O and O. Now, whatever the order numbers are in this internal table, we need to assign to screen field LV underscore O and O. So how we can assign the internal table values to the screen field, we have a function module. And same function module we used when we covered the add, when we covered this, this event in classical report add selection screen on value request. Same function module we will use here also. And what is the name of the function module? I will go to SC37 transaction code. You all know. SC37 is the transaction code for the function module. And this is the function module. 
f4 if underscore int underscore table underscore value underscore request name itself is suggesting internal table values will act as a f4 help and yes this is our internal table values which we want to assign as f4 help so i will use this particular function module you all know whenever you want to call the function module you have to go to pattern button and i will pass the name of the function module now we will go for various things here so firstly i will come on to dyne pro program dyne pro program now always always and in the classical report also we covered we put so much stress dyne pro means screen dyne pro means always screen so we have dyne pro program and we have dyne pro number dyne pro number means screen number we will pass the program name and we will pass the screen number now we already have the system variables you all know whenever you want to pass the program name we have the system variable sirep id you all know it is a system variable for program id or report id or program name or report name so i will simply simply pass this particular variable sirep id you can pass this name also directly because ultimately this particular variable will take this program name itself in single quotes you can pass this also suppose rather than sirep id you can go by this also it's totally your wish you can go like this also it's totally your wish but ultimately the system variable will take this name now what is the system variable for the screen number it is s y d y n n r and yes it is the size system variable for the dyne pro number and if you remember whenever we are running the program which screen is coming first 100 so this system variable will automatically take what 100 because your order number on which you want to assign the help it is on screen number 100 only yes whenever i will run in the debugging mode i will show you also you can directly pass the screen number 100 also it's totally your wish but it's a request pass the right screen number or best option choose the system variable pass the system variable now now i will come on to dyne pro field dyne pro field means screen field screen field you want to assign the f4 help to which particular field of the screen what is the name of the field which we gave it is lv underscore o n o it's a humble request always always go to the layout screen painter and check what the name you gave if name will mismatch you will not be able to find any f4 help now now we will come on to next part value underscore tab what is your internal table in which you have the values lt underscore o n o this is our internal table in which we have the values now first thing return field now this is the way this is the one thing which maximum people will do the mistake the name of the parameter is return field now what people will do they will pass the same to same name here also in return field no this return field is directly connected with your internal table 
Now just see, whenever your F for help will come, just go for a consideration. Whenever your F for help will come, so values are in this internal table. Whenever you will select the order number, which particular field of internal table you are returning? O N O O N O. So what is your return field? It is O N O only. Just go for a simple example. You can refer the ABAP programming playlist also. At that time, we have two columns in the internal table. Suppose customer is saying in the F4 help, I want order number and order date. But whenever I will select that is the F4 help of order number. It means order number will return into that field. Order date will not return. So in that case, what is your return field? Order number, order number. And this is real project. Sometimes you have seen so many search help in which multiple columns are appearing in the search help. But yes, whenever you will select the particular column value is returning. Now, if I will simply go for example, in the classical report, I took the example C credit card, D debit card, N net banking. At that time, search help is showing both the things. But what is returning? Payment mode is returning. Description is not returning. So at that time in the return field, I gave payment mode. I have not given the description. So why I am putting stress? Because you need to pass the right return field. Which, which field is returning into that particular column? And which field is returning? O and O. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, we fetched data from order header table. In this internal table, we are getting all the order numbers. Now, how we can assign this internal table to our screen field, DynePro field? SAP provided a dedicated function module. The name of the function module is F4 help, F4 if underscore int underscore table underscore value underscore request. This function module is used to assign the internal table values to the screen field. So we call this function module through pattern button. Now for to pass the program name, we use the system variable psi rep id to pass the screen number. We use the system variable psi dynnr. Dynnr is a technical name for screen number. Dynpro number, screen number. Dynpro field is your lv underscore o n o. Never, never pass this as wrong. Otherwise, you will not be able to get the search help. We passed the name of the internal table in which we have the order number values and we pass the return field. Means in that input field, which column value you want to return. Now, in the next video, we will go for value underscore org and then we will understand in that debugging world how our f4 help is working so that's it in this video thank you